action in front of the Premier Sports cameras with Halifax on uh, Premier Sports two weeks ago and a magnificent showing over the uh, Barra Raiders all the way up to Cumbria and then Monday night coming away with a terrific win 43-18 down to 11 men for the last half hour and got better as the game went on unfortunately two casualties from that game Greg Worthington for three games Saito Squazzi still to go before the uh, disciplinary referred to the tribunal so neither of those two play tonight well, they didn't play on uh, Sunday at Dewsbury but that didn't seem any upset Halifax's rhythm in any way as they won 38-12 only defeating the last six games with 36 nil away at Lee York in the lofty position but Halifax will have looked and seen the Hall that uh, the City Knights actually won beat Widnes and beat London by only two points well they're a capable team they're in the mix with Halifax and Batley as we get to the uh, sharp end of the season and the uh, teams this evening we'll uh, run through the teams after the 13 seconds silence for Tackley campaign that's running and running This is in sport, I could believe wanting to be known as an inclusive sport for everybody. With the men's and ladies and the uh, disabled World Cup later on in the UK. Women's rugby be getting a higher profile. There's no higher profile tonight than this match against the York City Knights for Halifax. Full line up with James Woodburn at full back. Lam Lachlan Wormsley can't stop scoring. 17 tries in 15 games this season. Ben Tibbs is also having a, a purple patch. He's on nine for the season. Joe Rundle, James Saltersall, the make up the three quarters. Louis Jufray, who with Lachlan Wormsley were tied up for another two years from the end of this season this week. That's great news for Halifax. The supporters are now trying, starting to make a noise. Will Carcott, Brandon Moore and Dan Murray. Murray the only ever present in the Halifax side. Ben Kavanagh, Matty G and Adam Tangata. And here is the ever present man, Dan Murray, taking the first charge into the York defence. Jacob Fairbank, Kyle Wood, Kevin Laroya and Ed Barber on the bench for Halifax. Colcott gets Halifax just outside the red zone. The pit's looking in there. Perfect condition, but digging up a little bit there as Halifax take it forward and looking expansive straight away as Matty G shrugs away. The uh, tackle of Brendan O'Hagan. Only just back into his second or third game, Brendan O'Hagan missed the last lot of the season so far. Liam Harris has dropped a full back to accommodate O'Hagan. Played full back for uh, Halifax. Back to Jufre for the kick, and this will be Harris's first uh, take of the ball. And the first time takes the ball, gets clattered. And now the uh, City Knights will uh, try and take the ball to the other end of the field. Number 27, Levi Edwards on loan from the Rhinos. Down the middle with a big boppers for this from the start for the York City Knights with Paulie Paulie letting the ball go. And the referee has given a penalty. Well, I didn't know you get a ball a penalty for throwing the ball away. Certainly wasn't a uh, an attempt at a strip that you could see and Pauli Pauli just uh, well there was perhaps a Halifax hand in there from Ben Kavanagh with a ripping motion 
but the second ball on the field and the surface well looked perfect before they started it's loose and it's soft and it's carving up a little bit underfoot as York go forward O'Hagan back inside to Pauli Pauli former Parramatta forward that's a, a loose pass picked up by Harris at the back he has a little bit of uh, time to look and see what his options are taking the one to go straight forward and now switch to the uh, right hand side again players running back on the inside Halifax defence being tested and standing up to that test as they try and force uh, the ball carrier back who is Danny Kermond Pauli Pauli gets it away to Matongo but swarming defence from Halifax three metres out from their own goal line well they had the run on did uh, York but they couldn't run round Halifax Kermond running in his select Sultan so will now run it out from Halifax Ben Tibbs oh, Paulie Paulie flew into the legs of Ben Tibbs then and Tibbs almost lose it on the play the ball as Wormsley drives forward Joe Keys looks for a way through almost finding one as well who will do halting his progress Tangata Drives up towards halfway. Well, it's still above 25 degrees. It's going to be a hot and sweaty night for these players out there. And it's going to be hot and sweaty for the supporters who are watching it as well as uh, the kick goes forward. And Halifax will chase the ball up and make the tackle in the uh, red zone again. Halifax needed to be careful this time a bit more disciplined already given the one penalty away they don't want to give another one away James Glover firing the ball forward no Matty Mars for uh, York this evening and he stamped himself on that uh, game in York a couple of weeks ago in the second half but with O'Hagan back and Harris going to full back to accommodate the loss of Marsh and to accommodate O'Hagan at uh, standoff and he goes into acting half the ball back to Jamie Ellis Woodburn all underneath it steps back into the in-goal area but uh, York defence waiting for him to come to them rather than them going forward and trying to make the tackle close to the Halifax line Warms having to reach for that one and trying to squeeze his way between Clarkson and Pauli Pauli. Saltonstall spinning in the tackle, gets the ball away. Wormsley again taking the ball up. Three men around him looked like he was potentially uh, seeking an offload there, but decided to keep all of it. Colcott, great pass. Kavanagh goes down under pressure, gets up quickly and plays the ball and Ben Tibbs sorry Joe Rundle goes to a, a foray into the York City Knights half of the field and again the kick put down towards Liam Harris and Halifax chasing Harris who does well, gets a metre away from the uh, red zone Joe Brown coming inside looking for work finding all the Halifax defenders Clarkson the former Leeds Rhino will take it forward and there's a mistake from O'Hagan who fires the ball off the end of his boot at Daniel Merritt and Hagen uh, Merritt almost as distressed with the kick at him as O'Hagan was with the fact that he dropped the ball 
Went down under the tacklers. Well, he wasn't expecting it. Wasn't O'Hagan, and that's uh, frustrated the way he fired the ball. At, well, I don't think deliberately it hit uh, Dan Murray there. But uh, concentration, the name of the game, and O'Hagan wasn't concentrating there. As Jufre gets it out to Arundel, he gets Halifax into the York City Knights red zone. Brandon Moore offloads to Kavanagh. Cavan has been in good form this season, almost showing it again there as he forcing his way as close as he can to that York line. Joe Keys out to Zoufre. Good ball, great hands. Tim loses the ball, but that will surely be a knock on from York. Good defence, York moving up. Knowing that Halifax now have the ability to throw the ball about and uh, play the expansive game. Jufre running the angles at the back of the line. Got the pass away. Nice touch on from Keyes. It's, uh, AJ Towers coming in. And losing the ball. Meaning that Halifax have another six tackles towards that York line. Can they make something of it? Jufre will try and make something of it on his own. And... Halifax will get a penalty and Jufre will take the ball back a little bit for a bit more expansion as Murray drives it in and heading into the defence with the body down and loses the ball and Pauli Pauli just pushed Jufre away there well Halifax have uh, had an opportunity from the back of the penalty and have spilt possession as Liam Harris looks for a way through Can't afford to be uh, making errors. And Paulie Paulette has only lasted uh, 10 minutes. As uh, York coming forward again up to the Halifax 40 metre line with uh, Jub moving into acting half and move it out wide. Ellis gets it away. Harris has options inside and out and has decided to kick inside. Who's going to get there first? Nobody. Because Lachlan Wormley shepherded it over the line and Halifax were looking a bit, uh, a little bit brittle on that uh, left hand defensive side there. Uh, but have managed to uh, keep the line intact as Kavanagh wrestles with Glover. And Glover gets support in the tackle from Kerman. Salt and salt to Wormsley. A little too close and a, a little too slow to have any real impact in the centre of the field against the tacklers of uh, Jubb and Matongo. Halifax still managing to go forward though. Almost up to halfway but slow to get up from the tackle. Clarkson and Matongo. Ben Tibbs has work to do. And almost got through, there were four defenders there, so he's probably never going to get all the way, but loose pass, Jufre had to bend down to take it, Halifax using full width of the field again, in comes Woodburn Hall, out to Wormsley, Wormsley around the outside, and Halifax with champagne rugby across the width of the field, Ben Tibbs looked like uh, he had half a chance, but that might have been where York's down forward, too many defenders on this side of the field, Jufre had to suit for the pass. Tangata to Keys and Woodburn all into the line. And Lachlan Wormsley. Off you go. Beat Joe Brown. And Wormsley in for try number 18 of 2022. And Halifax get the first score of the match when it looked as though York might, York might come up with it initially.
Oh, Wormsley as the Halifax supporters jubilant after uh, 13 minutes Halifax finally get the first point so Halifax 4-0 Joe Keys is going to try and make it 6 but what a fantastic try from Halifax a full width of the field going coast to coast and Keys over from the touch line Joe Keys, 140 points for the season before tonight with 6 tries and 58 goals, that's now 59 and Halifax supporters will be hoping that they're going to see him kick a few more this evening 100%. underneath it would burn all too Dan Merritt Many impeded a little bit as he tried to get up and play the ball. Colcott, no uh, impeded there, just brute force from three defenders. Joe Rundle comes inside. Tibbs, Matongo, plenty of men there. Shoe free out to Ben Tibbs. by Brendan O'Hagan as Halifax get to halfway the referee indicates that this will be the last tackle as he puts his hand in the air it'll go back to Joe Keyes who just drops one over the top to uh, well, attempt Harris but the bounce favoured the York full back and AJ Towes caught centre field on the 20 metre line Joe Brown Getting tackled hard by the Halifax defence. Clarkson gets the ball away. Number 27, Levi Edwards. Trying to show the pace and the strength there. Oh, Hagen gets the ball away. Hospital pass. Really that to uh, the supporting player. Who was Jack Teambet. As Ellis puts the ball deep into Halifax territory. York looking at a positional game as they push Halifax back. And turn the ball over. Ten metres out in front of the Halifax post. Well, you can be sure the York defence is going to be up quick on this one, but Halifax, well, chance in the hand with passes in the uh, their own red zone. I'm not sure that's particularly what uh, Simon Griggs would have wanted to see, but uh, Halifax working it out to the outside now with Kavanagh getting up and getting quick play of the ball. Halifax up to halfway again. Halifax getting a penalty. So another opportunity from a penalty. And Halifax won't want this one to end the same way the last one did. Walmsley claiming that York could try to pull it out. Jufri gets it away. Matty G's got the step. Gets it inside. And there's another man that can't stop scoring. Daniel Merritt. Another try. Eighth of the season for Daniel Merritt. And he's strolling in for fun. It's Merritt. Matty G had the step. Sent Harris the wrong way. Had a bit of a chance to get back. But Matty G... Well, I'm not sure really Liam Harris fancied taking on Matty G. Well, I don't know, I wouldn't want to, but Matty G 
knew instinctively that Daniel Murray had been support on the inside as he seems to be so often and Halifax don't make a mistake this time they were given the opportunity by the City Knights with a penalty when uh, Warren Lee was stripped to the ball and they've taken full advantage and considering that play started 10 metres out from the uh, Halifax line that's a uh, fantastic end to that set of six and Joe Keys has got a fairly simple kick in front of the post to double the lead to 12 points to nil on 18 minutes well, Halifax know they won't be able to uh, rest on the laurels and think this is by any means over but it's a healthy lead and considering the joke have grown into this game it's probably against a runner play that but they'll take everything they can Jufre underneath calls for it Dan Murray threatening to pass tackled by Job and Matongo Wormsley uh, Colcott rather driving it forward making the metres that matter away from Halifax's try line Joe Arundel second on the defence John Thompson round the ankles Tangata stopped as Keyes tried to thread the ball between the full back and the winger and it's old oh only just on the last bounce has carried over the dead ball line almost the kick perfect kick there from uh, Joe Keys Browning off the wing as per usual seven tackle set for the City Knights but Halifax moving in quickly to make the tackle with Tangata and Moore Glover having a run at the defence brought down 5 metres from halfway Jubb keen to get the ball moving puts it to the right hand side and Halifax are caught offside by the referee well obviously the uh, Premier Sports cameras being here have probably had a, an effect on this uh, the attendance of this game this evening there's not so many York supporters here and there weren't so many Halifax supporters up in Barrow but the ones that are here tonight are looking for a repeat of that uh, sort of status but uh, O'Hagan to Ellis, Ellis the short ball and Clarkson looking dangerous and put down eventually so the flare's still there keep an eye on O'Hagan a lot of lapping off him around this position here he comes again and Matongo nearly dropped the ball then and Halifax do the hard work again York still only three metres away from the line here comes O'Hagan a long pass out wide there's a three to two on the far side but Joe Rundle man and ball tackle almost like a bear up there know where the man or the ball was going could be problems here as uh, Jordan Thompson tries to weave a way through last tackle short side play and Halifax bunching players around the ball carrier once again on their own line great defence from Halifax under all sorts of pressure O'Hagan trying to work his uh, magic there Will Colcott and Adam Tangata will leave the field to be replaced by uh, Jacob Fairbank and Kevin Leroy Get him outside, Get him Ben Tibbs takes the drop off ball from James Salt and Stahl Fairbank 
driving it forward hard and straight into the York defence Jufre <laughs> pass to Matty G shouts for the knock on referee agrees so does touch judge well, I think Matty G might have just been a little too close there it was a, a bullet of a pass that came out to him Started well enough did Halifax bringing the ball away to Frey well not really a bullet of a pass perhaps uh, Matty G wasn't expecting it didn't get the grip on it was given the uh, momentum back to York on the Halifax 40 with the scrum one ball out wide Harris gives it to Glover and James Glover Long time with Jewsbury and Sheffield. Takes the ball forward. York bring on another replacement in uh, Ronan Michael. And he's immediately stepped into the line looking to go through, but uh, Jacob Fairbank there with a great tackle. With a bit of help from Mare O'Hagan. Kicks, and here we go. Woodburn all. It's a race to the other end of the field. And Woodburn all has put the pedal down. Nobody's going to get him. Nobody's going to. Well, if they do, it's too late because Ben Tibbs is on the end of it. What a, another blistering piece of play from James Woodburn all. Well, O'Hagan took the chance of the kick, trying to catch the defence off the outside of the foot. And Woodburn all was steaming down the middle of the field. Levi Edwards, the nearest York player, but he wouldn't got anywhere near. He managed to get a hand on Tibbs as he went over, but it was too late then because Tibbs had already put the ball down and extended the Halifax lead to Halifax 16, York City Knights nil. Well, the alertness of uh, James Woodburn all then to take that ball, to get down and take that ball and then get up to speed as quick as he did. Absolutely blistering pace from Woodburn all. Perhaps knew he was fading a little bit towards the line. But for all the pace he had, Ben Tibbs was stood on his right hand shoulder shouting for the pass. The finish with Tibbs scoring Halifax's third try. And he's moved into double figures for the season with 10. And Joe Keyes 100% so far. Two from two. And that is going to be three from three for Joe Keyes. Another kick off, Glover this time, kicking off. Tibbs close to the touch line, taking the ball back inside. Kyle Wood on for Halifax. Salton Stall to take the ball up to the York defence and doing his, everything he can to try and stay on his feet. And then trying to get on play quickly with uh, Thompson trying to. Uh, Infringe at the play of the ball. Halifax look like they're turning the ball over here. Well, Halifax to be tested again in defence. As York make another change with Paulie Paulie coming back on. Ronan Michael 
up to the Halifax 30. Will Jubb out to O'Hagan. Halifax defence moved out quickly and he was quick to jiff the ball on. Jubb to Edwards. Edwards, the uh, Rhinos player on loan, gets to the 10 metre line. Jubb looking right but coming left where he finds Thompson. Thompson has a drop off ball to Paulie Paulie who gets up, plays it quickly. Jubb to Thompson. Last tackle. Can Halifax hold out? Paulie Paulie is over it on the right hand side. But it's gone to O'Hagan on the left. Is he going to try and kick through again? He is. Clarkson. Did Clarkson get his hand to it? Well, there's no call back from the Toots judges. And O'Hagan's kick has uh, worked for York this time. But I think it might have been worth looking at possibly for the offside. Clarkson as, uh, as he began the York fight back well, Jamie Ellis left with a kick 8 metres from the touch line Well, Keyes has got 100% so far. Jamie Ellis, first attempt. Prolific goal kicker with Saints, Lee, Hull, Cass, Huddersfield, Hull KR. But not that good as he pulls it to the left hand side of the upright. Much to the joy of the Halifax supporters. So that looks. Halifax in a 14 point lead well, they've, had, they've had 14 point leads before and they've uh, filtered away I'm sure they're not going to do that oh, that's not going to happen this, after this evening Joe Keyes kicks long and deep taking in goal area and Ronan Michael tackle 12 metres out from the York City line Pauly Pauly here we go bustling forward there's three men in there Fairbank Matty G and Kevin Laroya Jub uses the short side looks for Clarkson and finds him and Clarkson gets over the York 30 metre line as the uh, Half hour ticks over in this first half and O'Hagan will go for a 40-20 and he'll get a 40-20 will Brendan O'Hagan Halifax outside backs not dropping back quickly enough or deep enough The referee seemed to say that Halifax player touched that ball on its way but I'm not sure just when that was. Ronan Michael. O'Hagan trying to create again. Ellis outside as men coming in and Ben Tibbs will be pinned for the high tackle. It'll be a third York penalty of the match. Well, the pressure piling up again on the Halifax line. Perhaps time for another length of the field try from Halifax if they get an opportunity. But York with Paulie Paulette. Driving towards the Halifax line, that looked dangerous. Well, it looked dangerous but didn't look that dangerous but it's got another penalty for York he fell down awkwardly I don't think there was any well they lifted him up on one leg and Pauly Pauly put the head first head down first of his own accord I think 
looking at the replay so Halifax tested again Will Jubb gets the pass away to Thompson and Thompson he stopped two metres out big test of the Halifax defence they've been defending now for three sets of six and Jubb well that could have been called as an obstruction did he run into his own player there oh, good job there were a, lot, a few Halifax players about and here comes Edwards Levi Edwards stopped eventually a metre away have Halifax got too many players in the centre of the field because uh, there could be a long pass out wide here Ellis gets it away but Halifax there to tackle alert in defence the last one of this set of six can Halifax hold out for another another one no they can't they'll give the uh, they'll surrender to the dropout under the post the job it was who lost himself at the ball fortunately I think it was uh, Woodburn Hall who had his foot out to put the ball touching goal and another six tackle for Halifax to defend Key's looking for distance well he's got almost two halfway and Ronan Michaels will run it back Halifax getting out pretty well and Michael's only making 10 metres Harris gives it to Pauli Pauli and Pauli Pauli gets up to the Halifax 20 well certainly got immense strength as uh, Pauli Pauli O'Hagan looking outside Harris Harris comes back inside but he's going nowhere Halifax sliding defence moving across Well, how's he given six more tackles? Well, Halifax, this Halifax line is being bombarded with the uh, number of tackles that York are being uh, allowed against Halifax, wiping the slate clean there again, back to zero. Pauly to Thompson. Thompson can't get out of the tackle. Halifax working double overtime in defence trying to keep these York City Knights away O'Hagan gets it to Clarkson and Clarkson gets flattened Halifax hunting in packs in defence well that's not the uh, that's not the move that York wanted O'Hagan kicks through was well, it this time it's another drop out under the post is it that looked like a late challenge from uh, Danny Kermont behind the post referee choosing to ignore it well, he's stopping the clock while the uh, Halifax player receives some uh, medical attention not sure who it is that's uh, down behind the post but uh, it looked like Kerman went even though the Halifax player was low to the ground it still looked like Kerman went high but it's James Woodburn all in the wars saving the Halifax line but uh, at what cost as York will get the ball back with five minutes left of the first half O'Hagan lets it run and uh, Ronan Michael what a clash Jacob Fairbank coming off second best of that I think well he's back up to his knees his Fairbank seems to be alright what a huge class I think I feel certain it wasn't the heads that clashed there because I don't think they'd have got up that quickly if it had been but Michael well maybe I don't know it's, <laughs> Jacob Fairbank's head went back And it looks like Ronan Michael is going for a HIA. Jacob van Bearbank also making that uh, same trip. Daniel Murray will uh, come back on. Well, Fairbank looks to be okay as he leaves the field. And we've got to be assessed by the uh, team doctor.
Nope, it was against Lee. Matty G went off and said he was okay. He might have been at York. Matty G went off with a head injury and walked off the field with his head being supported, saying, I'm okay, I'm okay, and played the week after without returning to the field. Paulie Paulie pushes away Laroya, who'll get him at the second attempt with a couple of his teammates. We've played the ball quick there. Did he play it legally? Jub gets to within 10 metres. Long pass inside from Taos. And Halifax. Well, what do Halifax have to do to get the ball? Because they've been starved of possession for the best part of the last five or six minutes and defended on their own line and they're going to have to do it again now Matongo will charge it forward I'm sure Paulie Paulie will be appearing somewhere in this set of six standing menacingly but they've gone to the right hand side Ellis gets it out wide and Wormsley makes the tackle on Glover well what have Halifax got left in the tank with three and a half minutes left at half time Ellis to Matongo well, there's some power in these York forwards, but Halifax, at the moment, are trying to nullify it. Well, managing to nullify it even, to keep people away in here. Paulie Paulie, the shouts of a forward pass, and Paulie Paulie has been stopped. Four men to stop him. And Jub goes for the uh, glory, but gets tackled, it's the last one. Where's it going this time? Well, it's gone to Thompson. He's looked for O'Hagan for the kick out wide. Wormsley waits while the man comes down. Puts it inside and Joe Keys is tackled into touch. So this could be more possession. Could it for York City night? The well, referee's coming back to the middle of the field, but I think... Uh, Halifax supporters aggrieved at what they've seen so far they'll come back in the centre for another attempt the times that remain 2 minutes 39 seconds for Halifax to hold out yet again O'Hagan out to Clarkson Clarkson to Levi Edwards and Halifax trying to hold Edwards up and get him up Rooks line, ball's thrown away in desperation O'Hagan goes down on it and he gets flattened by Solenstall. And Jufre looking for a, a knock on there. Clarkson. Well, they're not going to push him to the touch line. They nearly had Edwards over though. Jub to Harris. Harris. O'Hagan will try the long pass over the top. But still, the Halifax line is intact. The touch will just flags go up. And Halifax celebrate like they've won the match, let alone a set of six by putting the York player out. And finally, with a minute and a half on the clock, they're going to get the ball back. What fantastic defending from Halifax on that far side. Well, we're back at the 10 yard mark again, but this time it's Halifax possession leading 18 points to four. But they've had some uh, work to do in this last 10 minutes without the ball. The Rundle makes it worse if there's anything left, anything left to try and run the ball back at the York defence who uh, are stepping forward just. A metre in front of the referees to get them playing the ball. Well, they're just going further and further forward. A York Saltonstall gets to the 40 metre line. Kyle Wood out to Keys. Kavanagh gets it out wide. Halifax attacking on that far side and back in the York half of the field with 30 seconds on the clock. There'll probably be a kick in the air for the last tackle. That's high and mighty, and Harris is underneath it, but he's not getting away with it. 
again the pressure on him as the ball comes down Walmsley tries to get his arm out for it but uh, Joe Brown has enough to get to the 20 metre line Glover gets another 8 metres for the Hooter Will Sound and Halifax have done a remarkable job in the last 10 minutes the scores they, when they started scoring it was against the runner play York had had some time in the Halifax half been unable to convert that pressure into points but Walmsley in at the corner after course of course passes from Halifax from one side of the field to the other Keys converting from the touch line and then Daniel Murray turning up to put himself into double figures for the season was it? oh he's made himself 8 for the season Keys converted referee being booed off the field and it was Ben Tibbs who moved into double figures with his and Halifax's third try which Keys was successful converting again before Clarkson went over off a kick from O'Hagan this time it worked and they got the, a foothold in the game but uh, how big's that footprint going to be come the end of 80 minutes half time here at the Shea in front of the Premier Sports cameras Halifax Panthers 18 York City night 4 Halifax holding the upper hand at 18 points to 4 and that with uh, a full 10 minutes at the end of that first half defending uh, dropouts penalties but Halifax withstood the pressure so we'll be hoping well certainly the fans and coaching staff will be hoping that Halifax have uh, well plenty left for the second half to uh, pull this York side away and the uh, they're hoping for better from the man in the middle who's uh, not endeared himself to the Halifax supporters that is for sure with some of his decisions well the noise made by the Halifax supporters in the first half would suggest there's probably twice as many in that uh, south stand as what there actually is but here York come from the kickoff. Pauli Pauli still on the field. He's played about 17 minutes so far. And he gets the offload away to Will Jubb. And Jubb will run the ball up to uh, within a couple of metres of the Halifax 40 metre line. York stacking men on that far side. Halifax stacking defenders there. Looked like a possible forward pass there playing for a penalty, I'm surprised he didn't get it O'Hagan gets it away to Thompson and Thompson's tackle just inside the Halifax 40 but uh, York have made a lot of metres on this first set of six of the second half here comes Pauli Pauli again Cavan around him, hey, oh, be careful how you pick him up and throw his head to the floor again Ellis kicks to put Pranik on the Halifax defence but Woodburn all rises above all challenges to take the ball safely with uh, the assistance of uh, a few of his players forming a, an umbrella around him to protect him Salton Stahl gets over the 20 Jub comes in as the third man on that play after uh, Thompson and Matongo Laroya trying to drive forward Brandon Moore running to opposite number Will Jubb five metres from halfway last tackle and Keyes puts the ball up Brown looking a little bit shaky underneath but gets himself in the right position but Halifax are there to make the tackle just outside the Red zone with a Rundle and Walmsley bringing down the City Knights winger. 
10 metres made on the first run by Glover AJ Towns going inside looking for work Brown gets the ball out to Harris and Levi Edwards is uh, trying to get through on that far side it's a pretty good run from the on loan Edwards York putting a lot of effort into these early minutes of the second half and finding herself back 30 metres away from the Halifax line again it dropped back to Ellis who once again kicked to cause problems but not so for Wormsley and York trying to drag him back over the try line well you've got to sound down eventually but maybe not Tibbs well I think Tibbs will be glad he uh, went into Kermon then because Pauli Pauli looked to be coming in with a, a shoulder and Halifax restricted as York moved forward Matongo going across Fossey and Saltonstall on a, a diagonal run he gets over the 20 Brandon Moore Keys almost saw half a gap Halifax is not out of their own half again as the referee signals last tackle it goes back to Jufre for the kick and that straight into the arms of uh, Joe Brown so he's going to get uh, a good kick return this time is Brown Halifax needed to make it a little more difficult Towns two halfway for York Pauli Pauli well stood still when he took the ball managed to get the offload away to Harris and Lachlan Wormsley straight into Glover Glover manages to get the pass away Harris well getting good metres there Harris from uh, that run pushing Halifax defence back Ellis gets it out to O'Hagan Halifax alert there O'Hagan looks to have fallen awkwardly and well referees begun again by Kane in Halifax in the penalty there was an obstruction off the ball said the referee I think he's possibly the only one that saw it Ellis and then O'Hagan well the same Matty G's gone late on O'Hagan I think Matongo charging towards the Halifax line Halifax beginning the second half as they did the first conceding penalty and defending the line Pauli Pauli charging for the line and this time it looks like he may have got over as he know Halifax have managed to stop him and Pauli Pauli is pretty upset now because the referee has said he's knocked it on over the line well could have been dangerous in the end it wasn't Pauli Pauli putting the ball down there are a lot of bodies around him and the referee's in a perfect spot to see it I think you can see from the replay that uh, the uh, ball wasn't in uh, Pauli Pauli's possession thankfully for Halifax but uh, it does mean after defending again they've got to try and get themselves out of their own quarter and that'll do for Halifax for a start to get them out of their own red zone York offside Keys with a kick to touch Halifax start there first set of six of the second half on the uh, 40 metre line that's that's as dangerous as the one in the first half from Pauli Pauli well maybe obviously not Leroy charges forward Joe Keyes sends Kavanagh through a gap through the middle Ben Keyes is looking for support unfortunately there's nobody there Harris able to slow him down enough and now they're getting back six more tackles for Halifax this could be a perfect start if they can get over the line Fairbank gets within six or seven metres 
Kyle Wood out to Jufre, long ball out wide, and the defence is not there for Halifax. Tibbs is over again, but held up, says the referee. Well, almost number 11 for the season. But Halifax still have possession and tackles in the back. Have they still got the uh, energy, the will to get over the line? Leroya. Well, Cavan have strode through the defence early in that tackle count. Halifax needs somebody else to do the same. Joe Keys. Jufre. Kavanagh gets it away. Out quickly to Wormsley. And Wormsley gets the ball back to Woodburn Hall. Halifax with Jufre. Long pass out. Three men. Oh, Leroy has kept the ball to himself with three men outside him. Halifax won't get the quick enough play the ball. Jufre over the top and the pass has gone forward and the chance may have gone for Halifax there Kevin Leroya went for the glory when he had three men outside him and that should have been a walk-in Jufre getting the ball out Leroya all he had to do was pass the ball and Halifax would have had a walk-in but uh, Jufre's pass a little too late but did it touch a York hand on the uh, Replay it looked like it may change direction, but uh, they're going to come back to the middle of the field again. <laughs> Ten meters out from the post, with uh, a York possession at the scrum. Ben Kavanagh being led from the field. Ed Barber coming on and going straight into the scrum. Well, Halifax almost had the shove on there. Glover. Tackled by Keyes as uh, Halifax try to hold Glover up. Take him towards the touchline with uh, Arundel helping Keyes out there, but it not coming off. Kerman. Over the 20 metre line. Halifax battling for every. What's that going to be? It's a knock on. Kerman's going to claim it was reaped out. Well, he went for the uh, rounded Kerman into the Halifax defence. And they were already complaining the play before with the York City Knights, the players. Well. No, I think Kurt referee's right there. Wood and G were more interested in getting uh, Kerman onto the ground and Kerman was more interested in getting rid of the ball so he could claim a penalty but it didn't go for him this time so Halifax with an opportunity to put a bit more pressure on Jufre out to Tibbs Kevin Laraya being replaced by Adam Tangata Joe Keys across the field gives it to Fairbank and Fairbank into the heart of the York defence and into the arms of the waiting Paulie Paulie and Will Jubb Jufrey gets it out wide this time and Tibbs has lost the ball as Halifax look to try and exploit that left hand defence Oh, Halifax just need to be a little bit more composed. The 14 points up. It's 12 minutes gone in the second half. Jufre's long pass again, and uh, Tows on that far side just getting into spoil the party for Halifax on that right hand side again. They obviously sense a weakness out there. Halifax moving up quickly. Rona Michael leaving the field to be replaced by Bailey Antrobus, who had a wow of a game in that first match, making his debut for York against Halifax. And Matongo going nowhere, gets to the 30 metre line. Jack Team be back on as well. Ellis looking for the 40 20. Wormsley going back to cover it showing it to Woodburn Hall and then showing it again 
but uh, not managing to shake off the attentions of Glover Wormsley slow to his feet a problem with the shoulder for Lachlan Wormsley who's uh, waving away the attention of the physio maybe just a, a stinger or a corkscrew whatever they call it might just uh, trouble him for a couple of, couple of minutes Tangata will go down the middle trying to do what Kavanagh did earlier and almost succeeding as well but for the intervention of Will Jupp Jufre gives it and Halifax back in the York half but the last tackle indicated by the referee Jufre a chip over the top well he's chasing it himself and he's there to make the tackle Halifax are going to put every effort they can into carrying the York man over the line but uh, not on this occasion Halifax putting pressure on well got further than they deserved there did York Halifax were well up on Edwards then and Tribbers the Australian who's hoping to qualify for Ireland in the World Cup later this year by birth is it Ireland or Wales not sure but certainly looking for a place in the World Cup We're looking for this afternoon has helped his team back into a, a winning position as Harris hoists the ball downfield again Wormsley goes back to collect and then Wormsley Sets up with a bit of speed running against the prop team. He was just come back on. He needed some assistance from uh, Kermund. Ed Barber will take it to the Halifax 30 metre line. 15 minutes gone in the second half. Halifax still leading. 18 points to four. Saltonstall. So make some metres away from the Halifax line. And there's a, a quick play which takes Halifax back into the York half Kyle Wood out to Brandon Moore Joe Keys out to Woodburn Hall who might get the step on but won't get away from Jamie Ellis one of the biggest scrum halves in the championship last tackle back to Joe Keys and that one is to put pressure on again Wormsley oh great tackle from Wormsley Joe Keys who makes the kick will go over for Halifax and it's try time again for Halifax well it looked like uh, it was covered when the kick came from Keyes but the tackle, the chase and the tackle from Lachlan Wormsley just waited perfectly Harris couldn't keep hold of the ball and Joe Keyes went over for a possible breakthrough try for Halifax in this game Oh, it's key who's going to get the uh, important first try of the second half, and it was Joe Keys. <laughs> was following his own kick up, but the uh, Wormsley tackle on Harris absolutely rattled the uh, York fullback, and Joe Keys still had to go through two defenders when he got the ball, but managed to get it down. Referee can't wipe that one away. And again from the opening stage is the opening uh, 15 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes is against the runner plate. York dominating the uh, opening exchanges of the second half. And Halifax somehow picking herself up from defending, goes to the other end and score. And Joe Keyes has once again converted his own try. And the Halifax lead is now 20 points. Four scores, 17 minutes to go. Well, long kick from Glover. Taken by Saltonstall, who gives it inside to Tangata, who running with uh, some purpose. Meets the defence, 15 metres out from the Halifax line. Fairbank 
obviously yeah. no problems with the uh, head knock as Barber almost pushed Jub away came on having a look round before he got up to see where the rest of his teammates were and Jufri tries to force the pass no Halifax players arguing Matty G it was who couldn't take the pass again need to get back in line get ready oh, another York penalty 73 in the penalty count Jufri's short pass just missing the target again of uh, Matty G tried it in the first half and it didn't come off Fairbank straight in on team back with uh, Ed Barber Jamie Ellis tries to go on his own Fairbank the third man in there after Barber and Woodburn all to make the tackle as York heads close to that Halifax line the last thing Halifax want to do is concede after uh, getting himself a healthy 20 point lead Bailey Antrobus well he's not going to go down if he doesn't have to he just, and he doesn't plays the ball O'Hagan had to reach back to get that one Thompson to Matongo and Halifax somehow keep the line intact well, they've run the blood to water this, 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 this evening of uh, Halifax and that's well I'm not sure what it's a, it's a mess oh it's a penalty to Halifax they'll take that well, there's all sorts of a mess behind the line. Matongo with a strong drive. And York thought they were catching Halifax on their defensive right, but Fairbanks uh, outstretched arm. Managed to uh, disrupt the play. And then O'Hagan giving the penalty away by pushing Woodburn all back over the line. Saltonstall will make the first 10-15 metres for Halifax there, good run Tangata running at pace, gets over the 40 Brandon Moore just taking the ball up into the heart of the uh, York defence over halfway six more tackles for Halifax can they conjure up another try Ed Barber well might have done well giving that to Fairbank but he's done well to drag himself over the 40 metre line much to the annoyance of Danny Kerman as Joe Arundel drives it forward over the 20 Halifax with tackles in the bag Keys to Tangata charging at Jub, Tangata's got through Jub and gets him at the second attempt Halifax within sight of that white line but a knock on by Tangata says a referee well I thought it was through he ran straight through Will Jub at the first attempt pushed him away and then well there was O'Hagan who said the ball had been lost the referee was uh, in close quarters to what went on and Halifax don't need the uh, errors to uh, give York an opportunity back into this game Glover gets to the 20 metre line Antrobus charging forward to the York 30 metre line Halifax supporters still singing their hearts out away in that uh, south stand and the east stand sat uh, enthralled at what they're watching oh here can give it to Matonga but he's going nowhere Keys making sure there was no option of the uh, offload. Jub uh, gets caught by Tangata. Thought he got the better of him then, but Tangata 
bringing down the York hooker Thompson looking for a gap in the middle of the Halifax defence Zurita last tackle again back to Ellis let's go into the corner again and uh, no trouble for uh, Woodburn Hall as he takes the ball in the in goal area and brings it back oh that great from Keys superb play from Keys and it needed uh, Brown initially before Kerman got there to make that tackle Arundel again was making the defence work his upper body strength pushing the defenders back Thompson having to come in as a third man to make the tackle Brandon Moore, Jacob Fairbank taking a, a flat pass just running on to it a few oh, a millisecond late Barleyfax edging forward back in the York half of the field Keys, Jufre to Wood Bernal Wood Bernal looking at changing the point of attack Glover takes him down well they've got to watch Wood Bernal because he's got a habit of doing that he can stop the play and then go back on and, and just step it up again as he needs to Tangata charging forward need a team be round the legs Matungo and John Thompson was struggling kick through, kick through Glover in the in goal area Woodburn all catches him uh, Joe Brown sorry not Glover picks the ball up but the chase is there for Halifax well Jamie Ellis is being taken off by James Ford the York coach well, it looks like he might have a, a leg problem Halifax won't worry about that as Dan Murray launches himself back at the York defence good kick return from Murray from the drop out under the post Fairbank route one into the defence for Jacob Fairbank six more tackles for Halifax oh Joe Keyes has done it again ball's gone loose referee has finally called it a knock on He'll be questioning that one. And Fairbanks run, pushing the defence back. Joe Keys looks showing the defence again. Well, it didn't look like Tang had to even touch the ball then. Well, another chance gone begging for Halifax as uh, we get down less than 15 minutes. Glover. Eight to four, the penalty count in favour of York. And that one might not find the uh, touchline and Warmley goes back to collect it. Halifax are alert enough. Warmsley's going to get past the first man. Uh, we won't get past the second but six more tackles there was a, a tug at the foot from one of the York City Knights defenders and now York are offside and Halifax get the penalty back so we'll probably go back with a kick to where it started where York had the penalty and Halifax ready to fire again at this York City Knights supporters again raising the voices in the south stand Tangata into Matongo and Thompson and they needed a little bit of help on the way back from a couple of players Jufre gets the ball out to Woodburn oh, looking for a second For a second try in the second half, will it belong? Oh, I think is that Louis Jufre doing what he did at Odsall? It's Jufre doing exactly what he did at Odsall against the Bradford Bulls, picking up, nipping him from dummy half. 
Well, York can't say they weren't won because it's not the first time he's done that this season. And he's looking away, lining up the players, and he just gets in between the two defenders on the try line. Well, York couldn't take advantage, he couldn't put the ball out of play. Halifax went back with a penalty. Back into the red zone and another four points. And Halifax lead 28 points to four. Kick to come from Keyes who's had a great night with the boot. Well, that uh, might just help Halifax relax a little more for the uh, remaining 11 minutes. 24 point lead. Kick to come from Keyes. And that's another one from Joe Keyes. Thirty points to four against the York City Knights, and I think a more pleasing aspect for Simon Griggs is uh, it's not the thirty points they scored, but the four points they've conceded after an immense defensive performance against some uh, big, strong, experienced forwards. Halifax have matched and exceeded expectations this evening as Arundel is caught just short of the Halifax 40. Oh, Halifax impressed in front of the cameras in Barrow and they're impressing in front of the uh, cameras again on Premier Sports Ufre to Woodburn Hall. Here you go Halifax down that far side looking at... Uh, the probing that left hand York defence can't get through last tackle it's another kick this time from Jufre who's coming for it this time well Wormsley might get up for it well he did but he didn't get the touch because Glover came down with it Taos Tangata oh, round the shoulders Polly 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 back on for another 12 10 minute spell as Bailey Antrobus drives the ball forward Matongo well there's some tired tired forwards out there on this York City night side and there's one who's just been gobbled up by the Halifax defence and put to ground Hoagan gets it away Miles Harrison Gets the pass away, Levi Edwards. Trying the uh, big C later, but it's not working. Jufre the tackler. And another kick. Woodburn all stands underneath and takes it. Gets it away to uh, Lachlan Walmsley, but nowhere for Walmsley to go. The uh, line of York defence. Defensive players moving up. Woodburn all to Salt and Stall Adam Tangata off the field and Ed Barber is still relatively fresh and trying to run around the outside of the Lee defence Colcott back on Balifax use the short side and loose possession and it'll be a knock on but we're down to uh, just over eight minutes. The game will be Halifax's now, 30 points to four. And have shown massive determination tonight to turn over this York side. Once again, probably a bigger score than they expected. 
just as it was away in York in May it certainly provided entertainment for the cameras from both sides from the big rampaging forwards of York to the silky skills of Halifax Harris gets it away to Glover and almost took Glover out when he was uh, tackled so are York going to have one last hurrah Thompson gets it away to Teambe and Teambe dumped to the ground by the Halifax defence O'Hagan gets it away Edwards trying to spin out of the tackle Halifax conceded for looking at uh, keeping it at four are you up Pauly Pauly a lot of power, no result. Halifax going down illegally, says the referee, and one of the Halifax players as he gives York another penalty. Well, I suppose that Paulie Paulie would rank as what you'd say a marquee signing, but. Halifax have managed to keep him quiet for most of this game and they keep him quiet for the six and a half minutes that remain with Halifax leading 30 points to four Jub goes on his own has he got it down well, the Yorks players think so and so does the referee Well, he tried it in the first half unsuccessfully. Looking round for where to go there, Will Jubb. And saw a little bit of a gap, which, uh, well, it must have been the slightest of touches. Ed Barber was complaining. Woodburn Hall and Colcott couldn't stop the ball being grounded, although it looked pretty close. Well, in fact, concede a second try. I suppose you uh, don't feel so bad about it because of the uh, the defensive effort that they're putting in that last 10 minutes of the first half must have been quite shattering physically and then they uh, suffered the same not for just as long at the beginning of the second half and clawed their way back into the game with 12 points which uh, gave them a healthy lead that they've held until the 75th minute when Will Jump has managed to uh, force his way over underneath Wood Bernal and and Colcott well, Halifax may get one last chance with possession but York may not have another chance with defending like that absolutely solid and here we go again, numbers in there for Halifax. Pauly Pauly not having any impact. Gets to the 20 metre line. Kermond. Well, a veteran now, and after playing 80 minutes, uh, we'll probably you think start to uh, feel a pinch a bit. Been about 17 or 18 years. Halifax might get another chance earlier than they thought after the ball was knocked on. Ben Tibbs trying to go round Levi Edwards. Matty G driving the ball up. York still have something left in the defensive tank as they knock him back with the impact of the tackle. Joe Keys to Kevin Laroya. Colcott looking for a gap and almost finding it and that's going to be a penalty Pauly Pauly stealing the ball three and a half minutes left and what we're we doing are we just going well the kicking team looks like it's coming on rub a bit of salt in give Keys another opportunity for two point, two more points A 
and 16 of Halifax as 32 points have come from the hands and the boot of Joe Keyes but he's been instrumental in so much Halifax have done this afternoon with our back partner Louis Dufresne Penalty. A long kick. Jufre gets to it. And Laroya will bring it back 15 metres for Halifax from his own try line. Well, Halifax players almost fighting each other to get to the ball there and supporting. Colcott and Sansal almost colliding. Here comes Colcott again. Arundel. Well, Jub. Brave went head on into Arundel. Came off second best. Laroya. Shufre. Oh, great ball out. Oh, and Tibbs' pass goes behind Jim Saltonstall. Well, in the whole scheme of things, it doesn't matter this evening, it might matter in other games. Well, I don't think there's any real doubt in who was uh, Halifax's man of the match this evening, Joe Keyes. Well deserved. But I think in front of the uh, just over 1,600 people, I don't think they'd disagree, but I don't think they'd mind if he were a collective man of the match. And there's Joe Keyes managing to steal the ball as would Bernal. Wrapped to the ground by Glover. Or is it Glover Brown, sorry? Joe Brown, the winger. Ben Tibbs is going to have another go. And off he goes, running at the referee, running at the defence. Lachlan Walsley just there a little bit too late. Tibbs didn't want to risk the pass. Joe Key short side to Rundle. Walmsley on his way to the corner. Second try for Walmsley. Quick hands in at the corner. But Ben Tibbs will look like he might have gone the distance till the York defenders got to him. Jokey's looking right and switching it left. Arundel, Barber and Lachlan Wormsley. Another dramatic dive into the corner. And another double for Lachlan Wormsley. Two tries, two year deal, two points. Good night for Halifax again in front of the Premier Sports cameras. And they're looking forward to a, another possible two points when they play Workington at home on Sunday won't be taking anything for granted you can't do in this division just look at Newcastle's result against Bradford this weekend and now here they form witness have started picking form up and Joe Keyes has missed with his final attempt of the match but again he's led his team round the field and another impressive display by Joe Keys and his 16 teammates in a dominant performance which Halifax have shown once again how good a side they are both in defence and in attack and making the uh, Rugby League World sit up and take note they're uh, up level on points now or are they 
with York. They have a superior scoring difference by almost 100 points. And Batley they face in a couple of weeks. Level with Batley on 26 points into third place Halifax. After another stunning performance against a team that's, uh, well, they're, in, they're not in fourth for no reason. They've been there and thereabouts all season. But after uh, defending the onslaught early in the second half, Joe Keys, Louis Jufray, half backs with the tries and Keys with the two converging 12 points, which puts the lead out to 30 points to four. York were always chasing the game, they finally got over with uh, Will Jubb. Better on his way under, but it was up to Keyes with his second try of the evening. To, uh, well, Wormsley assisted him with that big hit on Harris at fullback. And could, uh, he made it 32 8. And then Lachlan Wormsley capping off another great performance with his second try. And a conversion, uh, missed the last conversion joke Keith. But 36-10, dominant performance from Halifax, great performance. And great to see for people watching on Premier Sports, high class rugby league from both teams. Um, on a Monday night at the Shea, but the best team shone through at the end and that was Halifax and they take another two points and another victory on the way to uh, a match against Workington at the Shea on Sunday. Final score, Halifax 36, York City Knights 10.